The Hanyan Image to Video tool is here in its uncensored form. We all know how good it is. The FP8 and GF models just dropped a few minutes ago. And now you have both Comfy UI and Swarm from day one support. Now we'll together process everything through Swarm today. And by the end, you'll see a lot of generation, the cool generation that you always wanted to make in just free with the free tool. So don't worry about that. I'll guide you through entire process from installation to the models to the, all the details, how you can set up it, how you can generate better results, better prompts, so you don't have to worry about anything. We will use Swarm, so a lot of people just get stuck when it comes to installing Swarm, because Comfy UI is pretty easy. When it comes to Swarm, a lot of people get confused, so don't worry about that. I'm Hadith, and you're watching Skillker. So today I'll first take you through the step of complete process of installing Swarm UI, which you might remember was formerly known as Stableworm. So in a nutshell, a cool story is the developer MC Monkey has chosen its way to own path and separate it from Stability AI and continue this project under the new name called Swarm UI. One of the biggest draws of this interface is that it's support for SD3, Medium and all the PixArt models such as PixArt Alpha Sigma along with the brand new PixArt base model that just released on Civit recently. This makes it a fantastic tool for experimenting with various models, literally so many models, you can only name them. Now what you see can on the screen is an example layout that you will encounter once the installation is completed. Now a, a unique step is the setup that uses Comfy UI as backend while Swarm UI acts as a frontend. I encourage you to read through the provided instructions, especially if you plan it on running on Collab or RunPod. However, today we'll focus on installing it first on Windows 11, then we'll run Hanuyan model, so don't worry about it. For Windows 10 users, the process might be slightly different. You'll need to follow alternative method that involves an extra step. Essentially, download the installer via the provided link, run it, click through next to the prompts, all the prompts. Additionally, ensure that that setup and .NET and install 64-bit SDK for Windows by clicking the appropriate options, copying the provided command, navigating to the chosen drive. It could be B, it could be D, C drive, whatever the folder you want. Typing CMD in the address bar. Open the terminal, pasting the command, get clone the link of the repo and then pressing enter. That is for the Windows 10 installation. Since everyone is using Windows 11 now, it's its latest one. So for that, you can just simply follow the step I'm telling you. Remember, it's also available for Mac and all the Linux. So don't worry about that. It's, it's almost for every operating system you can use now for Windows 11 users. Simply click on the link provided in the description. Just download the name file, install windows.bat, navigate to the drive where you want to installation. In case it could be C drive, D drive, save the once the installation icon appears. Now double click it if you encounter a security notice. Select more info, then run anyway. Now this is a very common way when installing anything from a unstable source and this installer will begin downloading the unnecessary dependencies and prompt to download SDK 8. Just click on yes depending on your system. Now this process might take few minutes so just sit and relax and let the installation get completed. Now after a while your browser will display a notice to accept the license terms. Now what I recommend is taking a moment to read through them and if you're unsure once you agree and just simply click on installation and once you install you can just customize the setting letter. At this point now I'll, I can confirm that now you have selected the modern dark theme and since the backend is comfy UI it will install it for you if you're not already present with the SDLX set as default model. Confirm by clicking yes I'm sure then install and you'll see the progress details at the bottom of your screen. Now throughout the process, the installation methodically downloads the Comfy UI backend, extract it, enable it, begins downloading the model, displaying the progress as it goes. For instance, when it reaches to the final step, uh, then it will download roughly 6.5 GB data. It could be different depends on the model and version, which will occupy a significant portion of your hard drive. So once installation is completed, the interface will appear on your screen. Now before testing it, go to the Swarm UI folder. And if you ever need to update Swarm UI, you'll need to find update windows.bat icon. Just double click it for updates. Although it's a new installation, so I don't think it's necessary for now, but later you can do this. I've already told you guys. Now, I also recommend locating to the launch icon for Windows, typically named launch windows.bat. For users on Mac, Linux, you can just click on right click, corresponding file, and save it to your desktop. To streamline your workflow on Windows, right click launch windows.bat. Choose show more options, then select send to desktop to 
create a shortcut this way you don't need to navigate back to the installation folder every time and you can just launch it whenever you want if you like to customize shortcut icon you can just simply just open properties and change the icon you already know it's a very basic steps now returning to the main interface note that within the swarm ui folder there's an output folder where all your images are stored, organized by date. So if you wish to change this directory, update the path accordingly, just be sure that enter the exact path. If you're certain about the format, click on the question mark icon to get a detailed directions. Now, congratulations, you have successfully installed Swarm UI without so much hassle. So yeah, now the most of the part of the video has been completed since you installed one of the major tool which is required for today's entire process. And this tool will help you within the future. Like when you want to install any other model or when you experiment with other models, you will love the Swarm UI. It's much better than any tool right now. Now let's using the Henyan Video MS2 model, which is FB8 model. You can find the link in the description as well. So yeah, just simply go and download it. It was released very recently, so grab it from the provider link in your models folder. When you browse your diffusion model, whether you are using a Comfy or SRAM, you should search. Uh, you should see the model appear in your image to video list. If it doesn't show up, you might need to search it manually in the model selector. You will find a variety of models there. For example, if you set the selection to none to the type edge. Now, if you see any model available just you can choose one instead now next use the initialize an image feature by dragging and dropping an image into the interface make sure the creativity setting is set to zero just as do recommended now once the set is located the image to video option activated and ensure that Hinoan video 1v2 model is activated choose the number of the frames that you want here we are using 100 frames uh, which makes about four seconds of video now through the, the testing you might see use 25 frame setup video to more and more CGF parameters to set one. So that's basically all you need to do. Just press generate button. Now, when you hit the generate button, the process starts and you can see the progress similar to the what's shown. Uh, some of you might ask like using tcache with the setup you can indeed enable tcache through the advanced sampling options if it's not visible there will be a button labeled as install tcache i usually leave it as default setting with tcache disabled but you can install it if you want to speed up the generation it really helps you to speed up generation and with the faster generation you know you can generate more experimental features and more more, more images and generation for those who are unfamiliar with tcache it simply speeds up your generation process now, since it's been just a few times since the is released so we are still testing all of this overall this tutorial is now meant to help you start it with Henwan MS2 video by telling you how you can set up swarm how you can set up the entire model in swarm so you don't have to get confused by a lot of tutorials and you can see some of the generation in the letter of the video if you like this video just simply click on like button share it and for more such cutting-edge tutorial latest technologies videos every day just subscribe the channel